once a priest told me, uttering the consecration words in the Mass was becoming very difficult. The words take and eat are very difficult for me, he said. He was living in a place affected by war and a display, displacement, and food was hard to come by. He was reminded of his people's hunger and the difficulty in uttering the words uttered by Jesus. Yes, we break bread in an unjust world. UNICEF says every day 20,000 children die of starvation and malnutrition. That is 900,000 every month and 10 million a year. A silent genocide. The biggest terrorism in the world. What is the greatest mortal sin that seeing a child dying of starvation today? The Eucharist and the poor are inseparable. It was the church father, John Chrysostom, who said, do you wish to honor the body of Christ? Do not ignore him when he is naked. He who said, this is my body, is the same who said, you saw me hungry and you give me no food. Mother Teresa advised her sisters, the love of the Eucharist helps us to love the poor. Be the love, the compassion, the presence to the poor. Eucharist is a dream and a reality. Reality because Jesus is truly present. A dream because it is the hope of the future. The eschatological meal of human equality Today, we, you, we have gathered from various backgrounds, the rich and the poor, the noble and the peasant, aristocrat and the servant. But when you approach the altar, the Eucharist strips you of all your social status. You are just an equal among equal. In an unequal and uncaring world, the Eucharist steadfastly remains the beacon of a human equality. The Eucharist calls us to justice. No other religion elevates justice to this level. No other religion elevates the poor to this level, as Mary narrates after the world, word was made flesh in her the mighty will be brought down and lowly will be raised up. This calls for a commitment to a world of justice. Eucharist calls for a third world war, a third world war against poverty, a third world war against the cruelty of dogs, getting fed with sumptuous organic food, why poor children scramble for crimes from the table. A third world war against a world that produces more weapons whilst more than half a million do not get enough food every day. Till that happens, Eucharist will remain a revolutionary flag hoisted every day on millions of altars, crying for justice like the prophets of old, the real fasting I need is the breaking the chains of injustice, remove the yoke of oppression, share the food with the hungry, shattering the homeless, Isaiah 58. This country's urgent task is to fill, fulfill this prophecy. This biggest Catholic country in Asia needs to declare a war that keeps thousands still in poverty, forces thousands to unsafe migration. The economic injustice and the environmental injustice perpetrated with impunity in this country 
and elsewhere, make our Eucharistic celebrations vulnerable to prophetic attacks. I do not look at your communion sacrifices. Spare, spare me the noise of your chanting. Let me not hear your strumming of lyres. Let justice and righteousness flow like a never failing stream, Amos. Yes, I think it's the clarion call to a mission today for all of us who attend this Congress. Another world is possible, an economic system that does not treat human beings as commodities is possible. Another world where the world is our common home is possible. Till that happens, Eucharist will continue to challenge us. Our mission remains incomplete. And finally, Eucharist as the power, the healing power for unity. We are journeying through uneasy times. Hatred based on religion and culture is expanding. Being a Christian is such a risk today. Take this cup, this is my blood. It's not just Eucharistic words. It is true in the life of many Christians today. Not only Christians, the country where I come from faced war and conflict for the last 60 years. The world is fragmented. Humanity is soaked in tears and blood today. Cain continues his hatred for his brother. Christianity offered a new version of humanity through Eucharist. Before the Passover meal, Christ offered an example of a service, washing the feet of his disciples. Instead of killing a scapegoat, Christ became the Lamb of God. He exhorted, pray for those who persecute you. He forgave from the cross. Eucharist remains a sign of hope for humanity.